Evening team, happy Sunday. How are we all doing? Thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever one you want to go for. We're all good. Okay, excellent. <laughs> so this evening we are going to be working through our usual stretch and reset. I've had a little bit of a request for calves. So if you're here live, foam roller. If you're catching up on demand, make sure you've got a foam roller before you start. Um, other than that, all you will need is your water nearby and also a, which I have there we go we've now got permission um and also if you do have a band or a strap we're just going to be using that to help us stretch out the backs of the legs so a resistance band or a dressing gown strap or anything similar to that will be perfect but we will get started so if you want to pop your playlists on if you're using them from the beginning and just head over to those mats for me we are going to start off today sat down cross-legged on our mat. We don't need anything into a nice chilled out cross leg position. And the first thing I want you to do is just switch your legs so that the other way around, because we all have one side that we always sit cross-legged on and it gives us really, really tight legs on one side. So this will help to just ease that out. I'm gonna take the hands down to the knees for me. And just bring those eyes down to a close. Breathing in through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. On your next inhale, just bring those shoulders up to the ears for me. And on the exhale, roll them down and back behind you. As you inhale, bring them up. And as you exhale, roll them back and down. We're just going to work through a few circuits of this. So along with your breathing at your own pace, just in through the nose and lift and out through the mouth and down and back. A few more for me in through that nose, out through the mouth. And last one, up we come. And all... Perfect, well done. Just give those shoulders a little bit of a shake off. We're going to take the right arm across in front of us, bring the left arm up underneath. Now, I want you to imagine that your right shoulder has a brick on it. I want you to feel like you're pushing down that shoulder to. As you bring that arm into the hug, just take the head and tilt it over to the left for me as well, as we work through this stretch down the side of the neck and into that shoulder as well. Remember to breathe. It's really easy in these kind of positions where we're squishing the chest to kind of forget that we need that fresh oxygen in there as well. And on your next exhale, just want you to think again about that brick on the shoulder and just try and lower it a little further, holding for 10. Well done. For another four, three, two, and one. Bring that left arm across for me. Bring the right arm up and under. Again, think about that brick on the left shoulder this time. Tilt that head over to the right hand side and slowly breathing in and out for me. Get yourself into that position. And then on your next exhale, I want you to think about that brick and hold for 10. Well done. Well done, guys, for another four, three, two, and one. Bring these arms in the shape off. We're going to take the right arm up and over the head and take the left arm and take a hold of the elbow. And as we do so, we're just going to gently add some pressure with the left hand to start stretching into that tricep, the underarm. Again, focusing on that breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done. With every exhale, I just want you to think about reaching that hand a little bit further down your back or adding a little bit more pressure to the Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done. Holding for another five, four, 
three, two, and one. Bring them off, bring the left arm up and over, and this time the right hand comes on top of the elbow as we move into the same stretch, but on the other side. Starting to apply that pressure. Focusing on that breathing, remember, we're either focusing on adding more pressure or trying to stretch that hand a little bit further down the back. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Well done. Pausing here. Four. One, dropping those arms down, pop your left hand onto the floor for me. And we're just going to swing that right arm up and over as we come into our favourite little side stretch. So work within your boundaries here. You might want to stay up on that arm or you might want to sink that elbow down to the floor a little bit. What we're aiming to do is reaching those fingers towards the wall on the left hand side. And as we reach across, you'll find a nice deep stretch all the way from the hip up into the armpit and perhaps into the arm a little bit as well. And with every exhale, just trying to reach a teeny wee little bit more towards that wall. Hi G. Perfect, nice work guys. One more breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, just one big reach for me for five, four, for three, two, and one up and over. Right hand comes down as the left hand comes up and over this time. So we're reaching those left, right hand wall now. Again, focusing on that breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Looking really good, guys. Well done. We're holding here for another eight. And I'm just into that final reach for me for five, four, three, two. And one, bring yourself back up. Just give that upper body a little bit of a shake off. Before we move into the next little section, this is a nice time for a little break if you need a sip. We're gonna carefully just wiggle those legs out for me to either side and come into a bit of a straddle position. If you're near a wall or a sofa, just try and sit your back kind of against it as well for a little bit of support. If you're not, don't worry at all, that's absolutely fine. It just might be a little bit tricky. To give those legs a little bit of a wobble off for me. Perfect. We're going to reach the hands up in front of us, so like parallel, like train tracks. Turn towards the left leg for me, so the whole of the body is rotated towards the left. Nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, just start to lower that chest down towards that left leg, and you should feel a nice deep stretch down the back of that left hamstring. Now once you're there and you're starting to feel the stretch, I want you to take a look, just lift the eye line to look at your toes. I want you to try and bring them back towards the forehead. You might need a little bit of a bend in the knee, that's absolutely If you're struggling to get the toes to come back towards you, then just grab your band or loop. Give it a little pull using that instead. Just gonna hold here for around another 30 seconds. It's quite a deep and intense stretch, this one on the back of the leg. So if you need to come out and back in, that's absolutely fine. Well done, guys. Just keep breathing for me. In through the nose and out through the mouth. These final few rounds of breath. 
we're going to focus on trying to increase that depth just a little bit more or bring those toes just a little bit further backwards for me. So you're breathing in. And as we exhale, just a little bit more. Holding for another 10. Perfect. For five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully using your hands, just lift yourself back up to that middle position. Just give that left leg a bit of a bit of a shake. It probably feels a little bit weird. Bringing the arms back up in front of us again. This time we're going to turn to that right leg. Nice deep breath in, and as we exhale, lowering that chest down towards the right leg again. Our focus here is on bringing those toes back towards the forehead to help increase the length of that hamstring. So we're stretching more deeply if you need again looping that band around the ball of the foot to help you bring that back towards you and just every exhale focusing on that lowering of the chest in towards the leg again we're going to be holding here for around another 30 seconds well done Rowan Perfect. Looking good, everyone. And on that next exhale, nice deep breath in. And as we breathe out, just lowering one final time and holding for 10. For four, three, two. And one, carefully using the hands on the floor to lift yourself back up. Now we're gonna bring the feet together. So the base of the feet come together, sitting back against your wall, if you are near a wall or sofa. You're then gonna take a hold of the feet, if you can, or the, el the elbows. They're definitely my ankles, not my elbows, aren't they? Your ankles <laughs> there. We're then gonna use the elbows, that's why I said elbows, to put a little bit of pressure onto those knees and start to stretch through the inside of that groin. If you've got short arms like me, you might need to come a bit more up to your shin with those hands so that you can get those elbows in on those knees. Well done, guys. Because we've got our bum against that wall or sofa, it just means that you're not going to slip backwards. If you are in the middle of your room, just be a bit careful that you don't slip backwards. Well done. Perfect. And on your next exhale, just bring the hands onto those creases inside the knee. And on your exhale, just applying a little bit of time in whatever way feels comfortable for you. We've eased in with those elbows. The hands just gives us a little bit of a bigger lever to push into that groin. Well done, team. We're going to be holding for another 10. Well done. For four, three, two, and one. Lifting up and out. We're going to be coming up to a half kneeling position now. So taking the right leg back and the left leg forward as you carefully come up into that half kneel. If you need, please do use that back knee just to support if you're on like a harder floor or anything like that, then pop it in underneath. Our first stretch, you may find yourself wanting your band, so make sure it's nearby. We're going to twist over the right hand side of the body, take a hold of the back foot and just bring it in towards the bum. Now, if you're struggling to get a hold of that foot, loop it round with your band and use the band to help lever that in for you. Once the foot is kind of in as far as it's going to come for you, you should find a nice deep stretch down the front of that back leg. And if you want to increase that stretch a little bit more, I just want you to bend into your front knee just a teeny weeny bit and that shift forward of weight is going to increase that stretch in that back leg. Breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. 
glass or wall nearby, or if you do have your foam roller, you can just pop your weight into that foam roller on one hand to help prop you up. Again, all of our stretches today are going to be really focused on deep, deep stretching. So we're going to be holding here for about another 20 or so seconds. And on each exhale, I just want you to think if you've got a little bit more to give this stretch. So can you bring the leg in a little bit further? Or do you want to bend a little bit more into the front leg? Holding for another 10. For five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully lowering that back leg down. Take the foam roller out of the way if you were using one. We're going to take the left foot over to the right hand side of the mat. Bring the hands down to the floor and fold onto that leg, stretching the back leg out as we lower into our pigeon. Now remember for our pigeon, we can either stay up or we can come down onto the forearms, or if you wish, you can come into your full pigeon all the way down on the floor, but that is a little bit too much for the time. <laughs> so go wherever you feel you need this stretch. And I know I say this every time we do a pigeon, but just work out very quickly if you're tense in your bum. If you are, on your next exhale, just try and release that tension. I'm going to just close down our eyes quickly here while we're in this stretch to allow us to really zone out because it can be quite an easy one to go ooh, out on. <laughs> and on every exhale, I just want you to try and let something go each time. So a little bit of tension that you can feel or perhaps any negative thoughts you're feeling, anything you like, just with every exhale, letting go of something that's troubling that body, whether it's tension or whether it is thoughts. Looking good, guys. Well done. Keep that breathing going. And we're staying for another 30 seconds. Last opportunity to lower your stretch if you want to take it down onto those forearms or bring the head down as well. Holding for another 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully just lifting yourself back up, bending that back knee and bringing yourself back to that half knee or full knee. Fab, now we have some talk of calves. So we're going to work into a little bit of calf stretching now. So I want you to take from underneath the back knee. And I want you to bend down onto, she says, tuck that front leg back in. And now on your back leg, I want you to tuck your toes underneath. So you've tucked your toes in. Bring your hands down to the floor. And all you're going to do is just push backwards into that back leg, pushing all your weight into that back leg. And try and push that heel away from you a little bit more every time, stretching through the shin and calf. Depending on your alignment, you might feel this a little bit more or back. I'm going to get here just for a couple of seconds to help mobilise before we come into some rolling on that calf. Perfect. Switching those legs over, bring the right leg forward and this time take the left leg back a little bit and again just pushing that weight backwards pushing the heel away from you and start half waking up a little. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to come back onto the left knee now. So slide your cushion underneath. Take the right knee up and we're just going to repeat our stretches on this side. So turning to the left this time, taking a hold of that foot, either with your hand or your strap, 
carefully bringing it in towards the glutes. And then if you want to, or you're ready, having a little bit of a bend on that front leg as well. Remember, you can use that foam roller to help support you a little bit. And again, just with every exhale, finding yourself a little bit more of the stretch. So either bringing the foot a little bit closer or increasing that bend a little bit. Well done. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Perfect, good work team. Holding for another about 20 seconds here. So you've got a few more moments to try and increase that stretch a little bit if your body feels like it wants to today. Final 10. And for five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering that leg down for me, moving that roller out of the way, taking the right foot over as we fold down into our pigeon on the right hand side this time. So starting off up on those hands, and then if you feel ready, carefully lowering yourself down onto the forearms or all the way down wherever you feel comfortable today. Again, we're gonna be holding on this side for around 60 seconds again. So a nice deep targeted stretch. And again, on every exhale, I just want you to think about releasing something from that body. So whether it's a bit of tension you can feel in the glute or in the hip, or whether it's a little thought in that head that you want to release today. Just using every exhale as an opportunity to rid something from that body. Well done. Focus on that breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. around another 20 seconds now. So if you want to lower down another level just to finish off, then now is the time. Perfect, here for another 10. Letting go of any of that last tension there. Four, three, two, and one, carefully lifting yourself up. We're just gonna lower ourselves onto the bum, swivel the legs around for me, cushion out the way, grab that foam roller, it's time. Shuffle yourself to one end of the mat. I'm gonna hope I don't fall into the Christmas tree while we do this. So we're gonna take the foam roller, and to start off with, we're just gonna pop it underneath the knee on the left-hand side. So finding where it just fits in that little gap, keeping the leg nice, and relax as well. Just wait for everyone to get there. Perfect. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of hamstring rolling and then we're gonna... So a couple of different options, but initially, we're just gonna lift ourselves up so our bum's off the floor. The right leg is gonna bend as well. So you've got your foot supporting you on the right-hand side. And you're just gonna slowly start pushing yourself away, which is gonna bring the foam roller up the back of that leg tiny little bit at a time, and then bringing yourself back, using that right foot as a little lever to help push yourself forwards and backwards. Now you might want to twist your weight from side. For example, I can feel that there's a lot of tightness on the inside of that hamstring for me, so I'm just going to shuffle my weight around to the side a little bit, but have a little bit of a play at finding where that tension is for you. If you find a specific tension spot, stop there and just take about 30 seconds of rolling just that tiny little spot backwards and forwards. Ready? Moving back into our longer rolling from there. Just gonna come and check that we're all happy. 
on a, as happy as you can be on a foam roller, really. But perfect. Yeah, Emily's face looks about right. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> well done, guys. Keep it going for me. Final 30 seconds in this hamstring. So finding any last areas that maybe want a little bit more TLC. And when you're ready to loosen off, just roll yourself back so it's underneath and lower that bum back down again. Lowering the left foot to the floor, bring the roller this time underneath your right leg. I'm just gonna switch the room around so that you can see. So it's under the right leg this time. And again, lifting yourself up onto those hands, tuck the left leg so it's gonna be your lever and start to push away from you as we roll into not the Christmas tree, Lily. There we go. <laughs> and backwards. Again, just using slow and controlled movement here. Roll backwards and forwards, perhaps twisting into the side of the hamstring or into the inside of the hamstring, wherever you find any tension. And then when you do find an area, just coming into that hold that we did on the other side and rocking backwards and forwards in that area. Perfect. Well done. And once you've released off any small areas of tension, just bring yourself back into those bigger rolls again. If it gets too much on the wrists at any point, just lower, shake them off, and then bring yourself back up into your roll. It can be a lot on the wrists when you're taking your full body weight to help you roll. It's always a good idea to have a few little breaks. Well done, guys. You're gonna be going for around another 30 seconds. So finding any final spots, in that right hamstring, which are feeling a little bit pesky. I'm just hovering and holding there, slowly rocking backwards. Forwards. And when you're ready, just rolling that roller, rolling that roller, so many rolls, back to the knee and lowering yourself down. Now I'm just gonna take a moment to just roll out those wrists a little bit. So just give them a little bit of a twist, maybe a few stretches backwards and forwards, interlace those fingers, give everything a little bit of a shake off before we go back up onto those hands. We're gonna come back over, I'll switch over again, onto the left hand side this time, but we're gonna be working up. So you're gonna to wanna to be near the end of your mat rather than the top of your mat. You're gonna take the foam roller again, just under the knee, but a little bit more into the calf. Then lifting up onto your hands. This time, you're gonna bring all of the weight onto the left leg. So you're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna bring it up and on top of the other one. Slowly starting to roll backwards and forwards. You might need to readjust where your hand, oh, that's tight, up <laughs> where your hands are a little bit. And again, making sure that we roll all areas. So shuffling the body weight and twisting to the left and to the right. If it gets too much through, then the right leg can come over the left leg and that will help as your lever and that will make it just a little bit lighter on that rolling for you, depending on what you need today or how unbearable the situation is. <laughs> I'm gonna come have a look at look at those faces to see what they're telling me. Yeah, moderately unbearable. Nice work, well done, team. Looking good. Again, remember when you hit a specific tension point, hold it there, and just do our backwards and forwards on that specific area. Still keeping them slow and controlled, but just allowing a little bit more targeted and specific movement. Gonna have about another 20 seconds. So finding any last areas. 
Remember option there to include the second leg on top if you wish. Just rolling back to centre, lowering the bum down so that, that foam roller is underneath the knee again. Perfect. Nice guys. We're just going to shuffle over to the right leg now, exactly the same on this side. So get yourself into position. Foam roller comes under that knee and into the calf again. When you're ready, hands a little shake off. Hands come up underneath you, and we're going to lift into that calf rolling. I'm going to go backwards this time. Again, remember the leg can either come on top for additional pressure or over to the right hand side to help with your maneuvering in that roller. Again, to pull that pipe, <laughs> depending on where you need that to be. Other than absolutely not on a foam roller, which is probably what you're saying to yourself right now. Well done team. For a positive reason, it's gonna make it feel better. <laughs> it might feel worse right now, but the idea is it makes it feel better. <laughs> keep going for me. Remember you can change that weight bear at any point. So if it gets too much having both, lower the foot. If you want a little bit more, lift it back up and onto the roller. Really simple little way of applying more or less pressure when you're working with your own body weight. About another 20 seconds. So again, if you've got any specific little bits, now is your time to hover over those little areas with our slow rocks back and forth. Well done. And when you're ready, probably very ready, just rolling that roller back to the knee, popping the bum down and lifting it out of the way. Now, foam rolling does a lot to our muscles, so really important that we stay hydrated during foam rolling sessions. A lot like after you've had a sports massage, making sure you stay really hydrated is super important. So a little sip, and when you're all ready, we're going to lift ourselves up to our tabletop position, take the knees out wide, and send our bum back towards those heels as we fold into child's pose. I want to focus on stretching those hands out as wide as you can from and then pushing into the floor for me. And as you push into the floor, back activate a little bit more. So as well as stretching into kind of the groin area, we're also stretching through the back with this stretch as well. Again, it's quite a tricky one to keep your breath controlled in because you face. But if you close those eyes down, it kind of takes away that dimension. So closing those eyes down, as you just push into that floor, just give it a little bit more of a push with every exhale for me. And when you're ready, just lifting back up to tabletop, but don't worry about bringing those legs back together because we're going to bring ourselves straight up, tuck the toes into a high plank position for me. Then we're going to bring our knees down, untuck the toes, and push our chest down to, the to help us move into our upward dog. So you're going to bring the hands either side of the chest. And for this first upward dog, I want you to take your legs wider than your mat so onto the floor either side of your mat and on your exhale pushing up into your upward dog now the reason we've taken those legs a little bit wider is to force this stretch a little bit more into the hips and the front of the pelvis the narrower you have this stretch the more it affects your core the wider you have the stretch the more it stretches into that front pelvic area. 
looking up to the ceiling as much as you can. And we're just going to take some rotations over the shoulders, so looking to the left. Don't worry if anything. And then round to the right. Back over to the left. And back to the right. Coming back to centre, bring those feet together and send that bum back into our child's pose again. You might just want to take a moment up on your heels to roll those wrists out. We have quite weight going through those wrists during today's stretching session. So just use these moments to help with those wrists. And remembering in this child's pose position, helping yourself by closing those eyes down so that you can continue to control that breathing. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Not going to be here for too long when you're ready. Lifting yourself back up to that high plank position. Knees come down, untuck the toes, don't kick the ball ball, and lower yourself down from that. Now, this time I want you to keep your legs together as we push up into our upward dog, and hopefully, you should feel. This time that through that core area. Again, on relaxing into the stretch as we take some turns to the to the right. Back to the left. And back to the right. Tucking the toes, this time we're going to send the bum up to the sky as we move into our downward dog. Pedaling through those legs if you need to. If you'd rather stay in a static dog, then that's absolutely fine. The aim is to push those heels down to the floor. So if you can only do that, then please use the walking option. If you can keep both heels to the floor without walking, then fantastic. Depends where we're at today. If you're feeling like you're in pieces like me, you probably want to walk. Looking good. Nice work, Rowan. Perfect, guys. Now, if you've been walking through that dog, on your next exhale, I just want you to push down into those heels as much as you can. So bring it to a little bit of a static and holding here for five, four, two, and one. Well done. Bringing the knees out wide as we sit back into our child's pose once more. Well done. Again, closing those eyes down and allowing yourself to pan out. Great work, guys. And when you're ready, we're just going to bring ourselves from our child's pose, lifting up onto our heels, swiveling. So we're sat on the bum again. Shuffle down your mat so that the feet are at the end. Grab your cushion, pop it behind you, and make sure that your strap is nearby as we lower down onto that mat. Get yourself nice and comfy, first off. And once you reach here, and just allow the knees to flop out to the sides. So this is just going to counter stretch against quite a few of the things that we've been doing in today's session going to help release off any tension. Not staying here for too long before we take the right leg out stretched and bring the left leg in to the chest, giving it a nice big
Now we're gonna enter a hamstring stretch here. So you're probably gonna want your band. You're gonna loop it around the foot as you stretch up towards the ceiling, keeping a little bit of a bend in the back of the knee. That to help you lever yourself into finding that nice deep stretch down the back of the leg. If the band isn't working for you, then just use the hands to kind of pull in either behind, just behind the knee or hamstring itself, wherever is comfortable for you. And I want you to focus on making sure that those toes aren't pointed. Flex the foot so that the toes are pointing back towards that forehead. Holding for five. Three, two, and one. Then taking the left arm out to the side, I want you to grab onto that left leg with the right, over to the right hand side of your body, looking to the left as we come into our spinal rotation. Perfect, well done team. Not staying here for too long. Carefully rolling yourself back onto the back, stretching the left leg out this time and bringing the right. Big squeeze. And then we're gonna be moving into our hamstring stretch on this leg. So if you use the band on the other side, you can use the band on this side, making sure that that foot is flexed, a little bend in the knee, and just slowly bringing that leg back towards you, stretching through the back of that hamstring, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, right arm out to the side, take the left hand to the leg and slowly bring it over to, that was my back, sorry, the left hand side whilst looking to the right as we move into our final spinal rotation of today's class. Fantastic. When you're ready, just bring yourself back onto the back, carefully closing those eyes. One hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now keeping those eyes closed, we're just gonna have 60 seconds of you time to round off today's class. So I want you to close out any other thoughts that you might be having. Just focus on how the breath and fall as the chest expands and then the belly expands. The chest expands and then the belly expands. Keeping that breath movement going in and out. In and out. Now, if you'd like to stay here for a little bit longer, that's no problem. For the of today's class, keeping your eyes closed, I want you to roll over onto whichever side is more comfortable for you into a little fetal position and continue to keep eyes closed, just using the hands to push you up. As you come to your cross-legged position, try and cross those legs the opposite way to how you normally would again. So pop those hands down onto the knees. And we're gonna to finish today's class exactly how we started, with some shoulder rolls to just open up the chest. So as you breathe in, I want you to take those shoulders up, to the ears and as you breathe out, I want you to round them down, bring them together. Uh, two more with those eyes closed, in through the nose, 
up to the ears, down and back as you breathe out. And the last one, in through the nose. And as you bring them down and back this time, I want you to keep that chest really nice and proud. Bring the hands to cover the eyes. As you blink those eyes open, carefully remove the hands and start to allow that light back in. Well done guys, I'm coming on over to see how we are. Grab yourself a nice sip of water, of course. How are we all feeling? Do we still hate foam rolling? Yes. Yes, we do. But it's good. <laughs> well done, everyone. It was great to see you here this evening and lovely to see some of you in person yesterday as well. I know we've got G on the call this evening. We missed you yesterday, G, but we're sending lots of love to you and the family, hoping that your mum is doing well. And yes, I'm going to stay on the call now for anyone who might have any questions. As always, just let me know if you need anything. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you all again, either now or tomorrow. And enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Bye.